Hey YouTube family. <laughs> um, hey. Okay, I want to give y'all a little peek into what I do as a real estate agent. So, for some of you guys that wants to put your house on the market, or want, or some of you real estate agents that want to do open houses but just don't quite know how to organize one, well, I'm here to kind of tell you what I do. Um, First of all, you want to make sure that the homeowners have a really nice, clean home. Let them know ahead of time that you are going to do a open house on a certain day. Give them at least two, two weeks to a month or at least a week um, notice so they can go ahead and spruce up the house and get it nice and clean. So this is a small house that I have listed and it is... Um, three bedrooms, one and a half bath, and the homeowners are wonderful. They got the house all nice and clean for me, and um, right now I'm in the living room area. Uh, let's see if we can get some light here. <laughs> um, open up all your blinds. That's one thing that you can do. That lets natural light in. So if you, can, you see me, I'm really in natural light right now. Um, if you had the blinds closed, it will probably look more mm, dark, well, it'll, it'll look darker. But because I have all my blinds open, or most of them open, open, it brings in this natural bright light. And also it makes the house look larger, believe it or not. And um, so another thing that I do is, I'm heading to the kitchen right now, I provide snacks. I provide snacks. You see I have cookies, water, soda, and napkins for those that need a napkin. Let's see. Um, I also have a side sheet. I have a book. And I have a side sheet and then I have my, my cards business cards and I provide a little pen. Something else that I do you guys is I burn a candle. I get here about I get here about maybe 30 to 45 minutes before my open house begins and I and I just start burning the candles. And so even though the house does not have a house smell, you know some houses have what we call a house smell and this house does not. But I like to still freshen it up with a candle and um, so they can feel at home when they come in the, in the house. Another thing I do, I'm headed down the hallway, is I turn on all the lights in the house. I turn on all the lights in the house. So all the lights are on. Um, as I said, this family does a great job at getting the house ready for open house. And this is the bathroom, nice and clean and fresh. I normally close the, the lid on the toilet and I think I'm going to come back in here. These are brand new toilets though, so it doesn't have that little water ring around it. But if you guys have a water ring, with that little brown ring from hard water stains, I guess that's what you call it. Um, you want to close the top of the toilet seat, but these, again, are new toilets and new cabinets, seat, seat cabinets. So yeah, so I'm excited for the first person to come ringing the doorbell. And another thing you guys want to do is make sure you advertise your open house in a newspaper. And yeah, make sure you advertise it because how are people going to know about your open house if you don't advertise it? I work at Century 21, and so we get free advertisement in the, in the newspaper. As a matter of fact, this morning, I got a phone call from someone that's like, oh, I'm excited to come to your open house. Yay! Because she saw it in the newspaper. So I'll get back with you guys later uh, for part two of this video. Okay, you guys, here are some more tips for you. Um, number one, be prepared to discuss um, the really good features of the home. Point them out. 
um, they could be a selling point. Number two, try to keep up with guests' whereabouts. They shouldn't be anywhere that they're um, not supposed to be in the house, and you really need to keep up with them to see to um, to prevent any potential stealing. Tell owners not to leave their valuables out. You're not responsible for their valuables. Make sure that they know to keep them in, um, hidden and out the way. Ensure that you secure the home. Make sure you lock all the doors and activate the security alarm. Another tip, you guys, that's not on here is um, to depersonalize the home. You, you, don't, you want somebody to walk into the home and not know who lives there. The, they it shouldn't be any uh, personal pictures or anything that someone could say oh I know who lives here some agents feel that isn't necessary but um, in my opinion I think it's important Facebook. It's not Facebook.